didn't realize how deep this goes. Yeah. It's just overwhelming the amount of people that have been affected by this entire tragedy. Sonic, everyone. Uh, we're on our way to London. Uh, we're only a few days away from the uh, tragedy that took place uh, in London. And uh, we felt that it was our responsibility to educate ourselves on the event that took place. Uh, meet members of the community that are actually doing work to make sure that this never happens again. obviously like an ode to the Green Square campaign in Quebec City and the fight against Islamophobia and then purple um, some of her friends told us was uh, her favorite color so so they were just crossing the street right um, kind of out in the suburbs there isn't really much going on like 2017 after the Quebec mosque shooting we did a vigil right outside the London Muslim Mosque and I remember there being kind of this feeling internally where we were like oh this is really bad but at least it was over there and like you know Quebec has a unique problem right and or there's an issue there but I think people were lulled into like this sense of safety and when this happened it really did shake that sense of security just because of what you identified it's just a regular ordinary ordinary crosswalk kind of like how we're standing right now frankly right like and so it really kind of makes you question makes you question your safety generally you i'm glad to see you guys are actually one of the first people to see it and when it's done and to kind of walk through it and we knew that we had all these these different art pieces floating around so that we thought like there would be no better way than for people to express themselves than the way that she would have want she expressed herself right i want them to be able to see her legacy like her enduring legacy that she left behind right this was um the art teacher, the teacher who commissioned this work, and her best friend wrote it. So, untitled by Yumna Afzal. Yumna Afzal created this extraordinary mural from February 8th to August 31st, 2020. After months of planning and preparation for her largest project yet, she crafted it completely independently and entirely by hand. Most notably, Yumna was always joined and wholly supported by her mother Madiha, father Salman, and little brother Fayez. After nine months of patiently waiting to visit her old school, Yumna and her family were tragically attacked on June 6, 2021 in a hate-motivated act of terror. Within the walls of this foyer, Yumna and her loving family spent precious time together while giving back to their community in what would be their last year. This mural is their enduring legacy, and we have a shared responsibility to tell the story of Yumna's masterpiece, not only because of its beauty and meaning, but also on her behalf, because she never got to. There's a, there is a story here. There's a story with all this pa these, these paintings. There's a story with these letters. And it's, it's a story of like um, people trying to share their processing. And we just really wanted to give people an opportunity to air that um, and to see it. And I've not done my part to correct it. This is my start. I'm so sorry for everyone hurt by this. It affected so many people so deeply. And you, and you just forget about that you just don't realize and seeing that walking through that hallway and every piece was so deep and so symbolic for me it's it's kind of hard to see exactly when this ends by seeing that scrapbook it was a little bit of a hope that maybe there is something there is something that we could focus on i think i felt really small standing on that block and experiencing that like just there on a regular day as a regular person I felt so small and then to see the response as so big and across Canada and across the world all these people are showing their love like the love was so much bigger than that than the hate and the hate really has a tendency to take over but the scrapbook brought back 
the fact that the love really is just so much bigger. Yeah. And it was the same message over and over and over again that your pain is my pain. And that was yeah, really beautiful. The These events bring about this really sad reality that they're gone. But as Muslims, we believe that, you know, a shaheed, and we know that them to be shaheed, is not dead. In this really dark moment, when the wound is so raw, and we haven't had the time to properly come to terms with how to heal, this is the silver lining. That they are alive with Allah, Allah will take care of them, and it's our responsibility as Muslims to remember them. This family's legacy cannot go in vain, because we can't let this become something that's lost over time. It has to, some positive change in society has to come out of it. That's our responsibility. And we pray to Allah that He allows us to fulfill it. Amen. <laughs> اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين